guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to go ahead and give you a heads up that you know there's nothing wrong with your computer or your TV. In the next few moments, I'm going to totally switch. I forgot to record an introduction to this video. So, you're going to see in a minute, I'm going to have a totally different hairstyle, totally different makeup, clothing, everything, because this is being shot way after the fact. But this video is of me giving a demonstration of how to apply magnetic eyelashes using magnetic eyeliner. That is a little bit different from just using the magnetic eyelashes. I really don't like that and I explain that in the video why I prefer this method better. I also will let you know that I did a little bit more research because there's a point in the video where I say I'm not really sure what it is that causes the magnetic eyeliner and the magnets on the eyelashes to work. But I did do a little bit more research. I will try to include the link to the YouTuber who is an eye surgeon. Now it's not boring medical jargon. She just happens to be an eye surgeon. She does a lot of things called eye makeup and eye safety and all of this. And this is her video uh, explaining the safety things and the research she did. So from what I'm understanding, this is safe product to use. It is FDA approved. Okay. So there's that. Also, I want to let you know that if you're watching this video before October 14th or on October 14th, there is a giveaway going on. I am offering to the winner a choice between two eyeshadow palettes. In another video, actually two other videos, I go through and I show the eyeshadows and I also give the rules for the giveaway. So I will provide the links to those videos down below in the description box as well as up above in a second if it has not already flashed across your screen. Lastly, I am asking you as always to please help me out by rating this video. You have two choices to either give it a thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you think I could have done better. As always, either way you're helping me out and I do appreciate that. So go ahead if you need your mirror, your tweezers, whatever. This is going to be a very instructional type of video. I love you guys and until next time, take care. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I deliberately put on white eyeshadow and highlighted my eyebrows to give you guys a sense of perspective. I'm not wearing any prime, face primer, um, foundation, no other makeup except for these two items right now. The, well, actually, eyeshadow primer, then packed on white eyeshadow, and then did my eyebrows. This way, I'm hoping that what I do, it's easier to see and follow along with. The magnetic eyelash set I'm, I'm using is this particular one is from Amazon. Now, I know there are different brands out there. I know I saw on Ulta, there's one from Ardell. It didn't have very positive reviews, to be honest with you. I have not tried it, so that's just something. So I'm not endorsing just this set. This happens to be the set that I have. Let me see if I can bring that in so that you can get a better picture of it. Try as much as possible to brought like out that lighting behind it. Okay, there you go. This is the size of it, just to give you an idea in relation to my hand. Maybe that'll help. Okay. These were made in China. It says they're cruelty-free, and they have on the back six months from the date of open. I don't know if you're aware of this, but a lot of products, I'm trying to look around my table and see if I have anything else that would have a shelf life symbol on it. When you see on the back of something, a it looks like it's a jar that's being opened part way and it has S like 6M, 12M, 3M, 24M. That is the shelf life of that product once it's open. I will try. Right. These are not the same as just magnetic eyelashes. Okay, there's a difference between magnetic eyelashes and let me try to explain. With, and I'm opening this up here, magnetic eyelashes, and I had a set of those, and I had, mm -mm, that was not working out. With what is considered a set for magnetic eyelashes versus magnetic eyeliner eyelashes. With magnetic eyelashes, a set is actually four eyelashes. You're going to get two for one eye and two for another. What happens is there are magnets on, so you've got your pretty eyelashes, let's pretend these are eyelashes, Fluttering ah, at the very bottom is three or four magnets. You get the other one, looks identical. It's like a mirror image and it's for one particular eye. It's got magnets. You put the top one on, you put the bottom on, they stick because the magnets are attracted to each other and you've got, okay, that's, 
So it's a little silly, I know, but if you can understand, so you've got the magnets attached to each other. Those work okay. It's a personal preference of mine. I do not like those because they're very uncomfortable to my eyelids. These are called magnetic eyeliner eyelashes. You get one eyelash per eye. Now that's very funny as I'm looking at myself on the camera, but you get one pair, okay? One for one eye, one for the other one. They go on top just like other false eyelashes. They are attracted to the ink. I have not heard anything about any health issues with that. Um, I don't, we'll see from years from now. Okay, now that kind of freaks me out a little bit. But no, I'm wearing these. So just to demonstrate that, proceed with caution. These, I'm gonna try to see if I can bring the case up. This particular set that came in this box, I opened it up, take a look, it came in this here. There were two pairs. I've already gone through one pair. I like them a lot. They were a little too long, so I tried trimming them. I'm new with eyelashes. I prefer the magnetic ones. I'm going to probably get another set later just because of the ease once I learned how to use them. And oh no, I just realized I'm gonna have to pause this video. Oh, no, there it is, I found it. Back to what I was saying. Um, with this, there were two sets and I wore the ones that were more natural and they were, they were not very thick. I don't have very, a full set. They're growing since I've been using some um, lash serum. That's for another video. I've been using some lash serum and castor oil. I've been very pleased with that. I've been doing that for about three weeks now and I've seen some improvement, but they're not, they're growing longer. Even the very short ones are growing longer, but they're just not voluminous, if that makes sense. There's not many of them. So I try to get the thinner sets in general. I wouldn't cut them. Man, I cut one shorter than the other. I've got to practice that. And so that side is gone. That's fine. I have another set in here. And it's better to use these thick ones for this demonstration. Okay. I'm setting the background here, you guys. This is kind of important. I know this isn't the fun part, but just to keep in mind what goes on. With a magnetic eyeliner, magnetic eyelash set, you're going to get your eyelashes. Okay. This, I'm telling you, this came with two pairs. A more natural look. Not very many eyelashes to them. Still nice long length. And then this one that I find is more dramatic, more, yeah, more dramatic, okay? Let me see if I can bring them to the camera, only because what they're attached to is also me um, metallic and it reflects. So I'm gonna try and see if I can, oh, okay, let me block the mirror. Okay, there we go. Okay, there is another set, they are since gone. I wore those quite a bit, I like them, and then I cut them, I was just trying to trim them, and one, I was like, just chop those, ah! It was like when you were a kid and you, you chop off your doll's hair and it's gone and there's like nothing you can do. That's what happened with one. I'm like, oh man, I just haven't gotten around to it. So anyway, we're gonna use this other set, okay? And yes, it's actually working out pretty good. I don't wanna blind anyone, so here you go. I did show these eyelashes, I think, in my Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions eyeshadow swatching, but I didn't do a tutorial on them. But anyway, they come with your eyelashes, okay? Sorry about that, they come with the eyelashes. They come with the eyeliner. I've looked on Amazon, I thought I saw on Ulta too, you can buy the magnetic eyeliner separately. You don't need to get the magnetic eyeliner from a particular brand for them to work. You can replace the eyeliner separately. From what I've seen right now, as of now on Amazon, you can buy them separately, okay? There's like two at the time available, two different brands. There may be more by now. There may be less in a few weeks, depending on when you're watching this video. You get your Eyelashes, either one, two, three, four, whatever pairs, you need to have magnetic eyeliner. This is crucial. Follow along with me when I do the demo. This is really the heart of the matter here. And this particular set came with these. These are cute. I could use these for other um, false eyelashes. I can't use them for this. You might as well just toss these for this set. This is a nice length. I like this. Not for this set. You cannot use these because guess what? They're metal. Try trying to pick up your eyelashes with these. Oh, you're gonna pick them up? You're gonna have no problem picking them up, but try to get them on your eye. It's not happening because they're going to stick to these metal things. They're gonna stick. So you gotta try to get your finger in and then you're gonna use your metal tweezer and it's not pretty. You've got your eyelashes hanging off the metal tweezer and then you put them back on here and no. So to solve that problem, if you have rubber or plastic um, tweezers, 
use those. I'm not encouraging people to go out and buy more products. I'm just showing you this is what I got as a solution for myself. I got this, I mean, it's October now. I got this in September. This is, I bought them from Ulta when it was my birthday month, used up points. I got a lot of stuff from Ulta that month. On your birthday, use those points. I'm telling you, this is a lash vanity. It was like $3 once it was on sale and then a double points or whatever. You don't need this, but I needed this because they had the nice metal tweezers, but they have, I don't know what type of, if that's rubber or plastic. I haven't opened them up. We'll see in a minute. They have, oh, I'm trying not to find you guys. They have a tip on them. And it also comes with a cute little mirror. So I like that too. You will need a small mirror. I've been using until I use this one, I've been using just this little compact. You will need a compact because nothing's cuter trying to retain, like let's say this is a mirror here and you're up all up in here in the back on the top. You want to have something close by so you can do this, okay? So you need eyeliner, you need this. You need non, non-metallic tweezers. Let's get into this now. The trick with this is there's two folds. It's not just the placement. There's going to be two things. You're going to line your eye. Actually, three. Let's think of it in three terms, ladies and gentlemen. Line your eye. That's one. Let it dry. Third one is place the eyelashes on. That's pretty good. I like that. It's, it's really, the key though is not, believe it or not, it's not placing the eyelashes. It's getting a good layer of this. Okay, it's the eye liner. This is the key. You need a good layer and you need to let it dry. That's actually kind of the same as with adhesive. You gotta let that dry. Okay, think of it that way. Line your eye with a good layer. It doesn't have to be fat and thick. Amy Winehouse, bless her soul, I'm sure if you like that style, but it doesn't have to be that thick, but you need a good layer. Pointer, listen to this, this is important, okay? Usually when you do your eyeliner, you know how you start a little bit thinner, regardless if you're gonna do big, thick eyeliner or thin, you know how you do thinner and then it goes out? You need, at that inner corner, it has to start even with the rest of your eyeliner. Because on these eyelashes, and I'm just gonna pick them up with my hand, they're long enough, I'm not touching anything harmful with them. I don't know if you can see that. But this one, this is a long set, and I trimmed them already. There's one, two, three, four, there's still the eyeliner, let me get that off. Um, one, two, three, four, five, there were six, I think, and I took off, I trimmed them because they were too wide. Six magnets. You need to have, if you have to trim these, you've got to trim them at the magnets. The magnets have to be at the edge because that's what's holding them on. If you do something like you trim in the middle, you're always going to have that little bit of eyelash that's hanging because there's nothing co to connect it. And so it is going to look a little off. The key is though, is you can't go thin and then you need it to be even. You can have a thin layer, but it needs to be even enough because you've got a magnet at that end. There is a magnet here. I'll use this to demonstrate. If I could get uh, a set with like maybe white eyelashes and black magnets to show you, I wish, but I don't have that right now. There is a magnet. And actually, see that? This bad boy's being held up by the magnet. <laughs> That's why you can't use this. But um, there's a magnet right at the tip. See? It's right at the tip. So you cannot go in light little very No, you need to go in. Y'all need to go in strong with the eyeliner, okay? Can't emphasize that enough. This is the secret here. This is the key. First thing with any, whether it's glue, it's adhesive, it's whatever, you want to go ahead and you want to curl your lashes, okay? Because um, from what I've understood, and it's true, you don't want your, unless, no, no, you don't want, and you've got your eyelashes kind of looking like this, and no, you need to curl them. It also kind of gives a nice pocket for them to rest on. Excuse me for a moment. Let me get in here and curl these again. Just because I want to show you, I did this um, in my bathroom before I got in here, but I want to make sure, you know, I want to make sure absolutely no doubt about it that I've done that. Let me remember how I do these. Okay. So, but the point is you want something kind of to help grip the eyelashes. Um, yeah, I don't need to go on and tell you guys about another product. It feels like I'm selling stuff, and that's not the point of this. This is a tutorial, okay? Okay. 
got this, this. Let's get in here with the eyeliner. I'm shaking it up just in case there were, I don't remember any instructions about shaking it just up, but just in case, I don't know what magnetic eyeliner you purchased. So just to be on the safe side, give it a good shake. I'm gonna go in here. Don't need it to be too wet and everything that when you blink, you know how it shows down below <laughs> with liquid one, but you do need a good layer. Don't start with just a little, little thin line on that. No, get that out of your head and don't worry because the false eyelashes are going to cover it anyway, okay? So let me show you. That's the tip that comes with this. This is a brush one, this is, okay. Here I go. Cross your fingers, here we go. Okay. And I'm going to prove Start the funny person pose that we all do when we try to do our eyes. Okay. And all I'm going to do is, I'm not going to brush sweep this across. All I'm going to do is actually just press. I'm just going to tap the side. Because this is not too thick of a brush. Here, as I'm getting closer, I, I can't put this on my cheek, so I'm not, I am going to have to brush a little on. But I generally don't sweep across, you guys. I actually literally just place it down, move on, place it down. So I'll check and do it on my hand. Just place it. See, you got your line. And then go on and just place it. Okay. And then you go back. You start and you place it. No need to sweep across. So just place it. See how I'm not starting where I'm going thin and then getting thicker. You know, you need it to be straight all, see how that's even. You gotta do that with this one. Think of this almost, this is the application, this is the adhesive. Just wanna make sure, be very careful to as much as possible not get this on your eyelashes because again, what are we talking about here? We're talking about magnetic eyelashes. What are they? What is the magnetic eyelash attracted to? The eyeliner. Okay. I let it dry. I want to let it dry. It's not going to harm anything if it gets completely dry. It does not take very long for this. This particular eyeliner, it dries shiny. Well, you can see that, but it dries shiny. It's easier when you can see it in person when it's dry, but it does dry a little shiny with this particular set. Wish me luck here. Okay, it's labeled right and left eye. I'm going to take this, I'm going to pick them up with. Going in, this one is the one that's labeled right. I'm going to pick them up with the actual thing. So I have them in here. I'm still new with this, but I want to at least get you guys to understand about the eyeliner and how it works. I'm going to place them on here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And they're kind of rusting on there, which is cool. Okay. This is gonna be tricky because, okay, I am gonna to have to look down for a minute, you guys. I'm gonna to have to kneel down for just a moment here. The problem is because I had to look down, I'm gonna to have to kneel down. Let's see if I can do this another way for you guys. Here we go. And they're resting. It's kind of like they're teeter-tottering. But then I need my second eye to put them on. I'm gonna be honest, I actually just, actually used just my, that was pretty dang simple, actually, wow. That wasn't that hard at all. I'm gonna stop talking for a second. I hope you guys can still hear me. See, I missed a spot and you think it's not much. You don't notice until you actually put them on. I missed an edge. And there's that tip thing I'm talking about. You guys probably can't see it from afar, but I can, I can see it. Wow, big difference. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and just very, and it's nice because they kind of rest it right there. And I'm just going in and I'm just taking the tip now. That's where it's nice. I'm gonna take the tip, but I gotta pack 
right at that edge. And you guys don't really need to see that. Just trust me that it's just right at the tip. It's not even, I mean, it's barely visible, but there's none there. So the magnet's not going to stick. The magnet knows it's just, it's just basic. It needs metal. There's no metal there. There's nothing magnetic, I should say. There you go. I'm going to take the tip of this, okay? Nice rubber tip. See how that's flat there? Push that back away in. I actually, these are big enough that I can use my finger to do most of it. And I'm pushing them down a little. And bring these bad boys in. That was actually pretty successful for the fact that I'm a little nervous. I'm doing it on camera. I'm hoping that people, you know, I'm like, people are trusting me to do this right. But that wasn't bad. I gotta let it wait a little bit. See, there we go. It's staying on. Let me try to close my eyes there. Let you guys see. I'm gonna lean in, get closer. Okay. There you go. Oh! It's so important, you guys. I cannot tell you enough. There it goes. There it goes. You gotta make sure it dries. You've got to make sure it dries and see there it goes. I think I might have stretched these out too much. Yep. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, it's not hanging on on the end. I've got to do that part again just because I did not put enough at that edge. You can't tell, but what I was doing is I was putting it on, but I was actually putting it on the eyelash itself. I prefer that this, if this was a felt tip, because it's liquid, it's, only, you know, um, those of you who don't have experience with a lot of these liquid eyeliners, think of it almost like a nail polish brush that kind of, it can drip. And so I'm putting it on, and unless you're like really good vision, it's hard, kind of hard to see exactly where it's landed until it's dried. So I'm gonna go over it. And I'm going to go just take it one step higher. So it's, I know for sure now it's on my skin. Okay. So there's a thicker layer. A little bit thicker layer. I'm going to go ahead and do the other light eye too because I want to allow that time to dry. I really do. The goal is to have, that's not too thick, I swear. It looks like because I'm zooming in. The goal is to get that layer, but you don't want any of it on your eyelash. You literally just want it to go straight in and put it right on your eyelid. I think you would have a higher, easier time at home doing this when you're in a bathroom. I've got my curtains open. I'm letting broad daylight in. Um, I've got this white eyeshadow on that I'm not used to wearing, I'm trying to balance these things, but I want to give you guys as much visual as possible, so that's just the sacrifice I'm doing for you. Okay, I'm going in, and I'm going to do again, you see that, you don't want too much of it dripping, you don't want, you know, because you don't want it on your eyelash, you don't want anything that's going to hinder the magnet to hinder to something else. You just pull it out, and tap. It's funny, I'm right-handed. Okay, you gotta be quiet, you guys. Make sure, and that's part that's kind of unnatural for me, is you kind of want to either do a wing or you want to do this. No, think of this as just placement for that eyelash band. Yes, it's eyeliner, and that's cool, but it's still, it's, it's still the adhesive for the eyelash. And just in case, I'm going to carry this over a little bit farther over. This side was much easier. For some reason, I'm right-handed on a lot of things, but when it comes to my 
eyeliner. Okay. That one's much more even than this side. And it's much more, it's not laying on my eyelashes at all. There's none on my eyelashes on this side. So let me see here. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys, doing YouTube is fun as it is. Sometimes this can be a pretty humbling experience because I know this is not cute. I know this is not my most flattering, but it's good. It keeps you humble. You're not always trying to put always your best foot forward. No. I want to make sure I get a good even layer throughout. Okay. I'm going to let it dry for just a few more minutes. Partly because, well, it's just messy when you've got so much, you know, it's wet and you need it to get nice and dry. You don't need it tacky. It's not um, lash glue, but you still need it to dry. You don't, you need it, you just need it to dry, guys, trust me. I'm going to take a beverage drink, beverage break for a moment. This is, I got this from a subscription box that I will not name at this time, but it's got a um, thing where you can in, <coughs> put fruit in the middle. And so that's what I've got in there. I've got, I just took some frozen berries. I didn't chop up or get any fresh berries. It's just frozen, bag of frozen berries I keep in my freezer for smoothies. I put them in the middle, and then I filled it with water and lemon juice. And there may be some cider in here. You guys, I got a long day. I'm going to tape a lot of videos. So I needed a little liquid cider in here. Don't give up. I know this may seem very discouraging right now. I just, I'm a wordy person. I talk a lot. I want to give you a lot of details. You're putting on your liquid eyeliner. You're waiting a moment. Maybe you're doing something else. You're doing your eyebrows. You've already most likely have your um, eyeshadow on. You're on to your lipstick. You're doing something else. You know, don't give up. It may seem like this is an eternity. It's not. You've let it dry, okay? I'd say that's a good dry. I'm going to go back to this right eye again where I started. For this video, I'm going to just pick these up with this rubber tweezers again, just for demonstration's sake, but I'll show you. I'm going to put them on top again. I put them right in the middle of where I, I know where I want them. You kind of move around to where you want them to end up, but I'm still going to set it in the middle because then I can use my hand. And see, the magnet helps them stay in place, too. I really like these magnetic ones in theory and in practice more than any other ones. There you guys go. See? Now they're sticking. Feel them, but I don't. That makes sense. They don't have that stickiness that sometimes if you have that adhesive, especially when you're still learning how to do eye eyelashes, and there's that stickiness because of the adhesive. I don't have that. I don't have the weight of the double magnets that from the just the two sets of magnets that you can have. It literally is you're putting on your eyeliner or band of it. You let it dry. And you place this in the middle where you want it, and then you can take either your hand or, I forget what they call them right now, the applicator, tweezers, whatever, and you put them in and you can kind of push down. That's that. And they're on. Also want to be careful not to stretch them either because then they're, one, is gonna, one side is going to spring up if you're stretching them out. Don't do that. You want them to naturally rest. Don't go and pull them and pull them down. Just place them. Place them, okay? Let me do the other eye. That one, less struggle. Hopefully, because you already saw, I just went in, I did an even band with the eyeliner. I already got a good even band. There's none of them on my eyelash. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use my finger. It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. I mean this. I'm gonna use my finger. For some reason, that's weird. I'm right-handed on everything else, but my left hand for this is very easy. And, kind of bend them in a little. And I'm literally, I'm just going to place it in there. I don't know if you could see that. That was perfect, you guys. 
it literally, the eyelash grabbed on, not grabbed, because that sounds painful, it kind of snapped itself on place. It was attracted to the eyeliner. And did you see that? I will tell you, I've been wearing these, I'm trying to think, this is probably my fifth or sixth time because I think I wore the natural ones three times. And this will be, yeah, this will be my sixth time because this is my third time with these, okay? But that, did you see how that was pretty simple, you guys? I don't want you to lose hope and get discouraged because it can be frustrating to, for anyone learning to use false eyelashes, period. It can be very discouraging. Um, I'm still learning how to use the other, the glue false eyelashes. If there was more variety of this, I hope, please, I hope that these start selling very well because I really need more um, natural looking eyelashes. I don't go out that much anymore, you guys. I'm more of a homebody. My husband and I we live out, I guess you could say, yeah, it is the country. It's a subdivision that we live in, but it's still out in the country of Texas. I mean, you can go either way, northwest, southeast, and there's state highways surrounding us. There's literally the edge of these subdivisions. There's cattle. So, okay, we're kind of out far. So even going out for us is still not the whole dramatic look. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe a couple times a year or two, a uh, special event or something. So I don't need this. I like being able to wear them for the videos. I still think this is a little much for me. Um, so I do use the other false eyelashes that have the lash glue, but if there were, oh please, if there are eyelash companies out there now watching or people suggesting that, I would love if they made a variety of magnetic eyelashes with the eyeliner, not the double set. Y'all, that hurts and it's not, I don't, personally, I don't think that's good for your eyes to have a weight of twice as many eyelashes on, on it. it. It's not good in my opinion. If they could do this, Hopefully this eyeliner, safe eyeliner. You saw how quickly I put that one on. I'm not having a problem. Let me look and see again. Wow. This one is kind of being a little booger. That's, I think that's my fault. I'm pretty sure. This one has always been that way though. This eyelash just kind of naturally does that. But I think I have a little of the eyeliner on there. Again, you guys, this is really the key. If you could, this, okay, I, if I was into this profession, this is the key here, is different types of eyeliner. The eyelashes, you know, you get a variety of different eyelashes and all kinds of styles. You're dramatic, you're natural, you're demi, you're whatever. And people just refill these. They're easier to clean, whatever. You know, whatever you decide to do, whether it's these or whatever, but I'm hooked on this. So, all right. I've talked long enough. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of using magnetic, magnetic eyeliner, magnetic eyelashes. Okay. There's a difference between the magnetic eyelashes and the magnetic eyeliner, magnetic eyelashes. Let me know what you think of these. Have you tried them and you gave up? Have you tried them and they were way easier when you did it? Kudos to you. Whatever. You don't want to touch them. Uh-uh. I've already tuned out. I just came back in to see if they're staying on your face out to be. So I went to another channel. Whatever. Let me know. Okay. Um, I have, if you are watching this and October 14th has not passed yet, I do have an eyeshadow palette giveaway. Go ahead and turn to my video. I will post the link above. It is for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus Unboxing September edition. There are two eyeshadows. Not from the, set, the Ipsy Glam Bag, but the giveaway is in there. There are two eyeshadows. I'm not going to reveal them. You need to go over to that video and see. So if this is before October 14, 2019, it, there's a two eyeshadow palette giveaway. I encourage you to go over there. Give me a thumbs up. As always, you guys know the drill. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is a good video. If you thought I could have done better, thumbs down. Either way, you're helping me out. Rate the video. Go ahead and comment below. And hopefully I've convinced you to subscribe. If you've watched this much of this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Even better, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified of my next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that I helped at least one person out there with this challenge. Take care. As always, I love you guys. Bye.